In this discussion, we will discuss the discussion question of define sales variances and how they are used. If we see a discussion question or an essay question like this, our goal is typically to write more rather than less because if we write more, we're more likely to touch on those components that are being looked for in order to add points. And if we write too much, we're usually not penalized for writing too much as long as we hit on those key components. And if we're talking about a discussion question, we're usually getting points to add to the conversation. We're usually looking for areas where we can add to a conversation. So let's read through this one more time. Define sales variances and how they are used. So obviously one of the starting points here would be to... First, a word from our sponsor. Yeah, actually we're sponsoring ourselves on this one because apparently the merchandisers, they don't want to be seen with us. But, but that's okay, whatever because our merchandise is, is better than their stupid stuff anyways. Like our, trust me, I'm an accountant product line. Yeah, it's paramount that you let people know that you're an accountant because apparently we're among the only ones equipped with the number crunching skills to answer society's current deep, complex, and nuanced questions. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com. Define a sales variance. What is a sales variance? We can go into that description and then of course discuss the components or the uses of the sales variance. We could then take a step back and discuss the, the bigger picture in terms of variance analysis, how the sales variance fits in maybe how it relates to other type of variance analysis if you need to expand on it more from that point. So sales variances reflect differences in price and volume of sales from expected amounts. So in other words, if we were to have a budget, if you think of a budget, we have um, what the budget was and then what actually happened in terms of the budget, the difference then in terms of sales, the line item of sales, is going to be the difference in sales from the budget versus the actual. However, we can break that difference down into more detailed components because there's at least two things that are involved there, or we could think about breaking them out into two things. One being there could be a difference in the sales price that we had budgeted on versus the actual sales price. The other thing that could have happened is the volume was different. We sold more or less than we had expected to sell. So that's going to be our breakout. That's going to be the variances that we take a look at. That's going to be one of the benefits, one of the, the central kind of items we do in the variance analysis. We take the budget versus actual in terms of the line item of sales, income, revenue, line item. And then we further break that down into its components, the price variance, our difference in the price we might have had, and the volume variance, the difference in the, in the units. Now, the, the, we might have a difference in the price if we had multiple units or types of inventory that we sold and if we had differences in bulk sales. So if we sold a lot and we had discounts or something like that, then of course the price of the inventory may vary from what we budgeted to happen because of the different types of sales and bulk sales and whatnot that we may have had. So that's going to be one of the, uh, the tools that we can then use to basically get more detailed information in terms of uh, what actually happened, uh, why did the change happen, and then we can get into the detail in terms of was this good or not? Was the sale, uh, if we had more sales that happened, was that good? Because the, the goal is, of course, if the price is lower to increase the sales volume enough so that the total revenue is actually an, a positive change. Now, again, you could go into further analysis and say, hey, this, this sales variance process is part of the budgeting process. You could go into the budgeting process you could talk about further variance analysis as you can relate this variance analysis to other components, comparing line items from a budgeted financial statement to what actually happened, such as uh, materials or wages, and break that out in a similar fashion and say, hey, there's a similar process for these line items in terms of a variance analysis as well. And of course, you can get into examples and you can show examples of uh, uh this type of breakout of this type of variance analysis uh for more detail as well